Welcome to my Cisco Scaling Network Lab review. Here we're do doing Lab 8125. We're going to be doing configuring EIGRP manual summary routes for both IPv4 and IPv6. I have this diagram off my screen. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down so I can see all of the steps. So, part one. First thing we have to do is verify the display of the routing table on each of the IPv4 enabled routers. So if you look at this, this is going to be IPv4. Let's go ahead and do a show IP route on all of them. And that's how we can verify show IP route. And you're going to see that we have lots of small networks that are not summarized. Enable show IP route. Show IP route. And again, not summarized. We'll do one for the edge just to make sure. IP route. And again, not summarized. So I'm actually going to go and copy this into a Word document. I have a notepad. All I did is copy the edge in the notepad so that later when we do our summer uh, addresses we can actually see them. So go ahead and calculate that we verified. Calculate a summarized address for the loopbacks on branch one. So what I did was when I did it branch one, I'm looking at the loopback addresses. My math, I showed a 172. Dot thirty one dot eight dot zero with a slash twenty two as a summarized address. So we're going to configure branch one to advertise an IPv or our summarized address via EIGRP to the edge. So we're going to between those two, we're going to summarize those addresses. So how we do that is, let's go ahead and hop into our global configuration mode. Configure terminal. We're going to be looking at the interface between our branch and our edge, which happens to be serial 0, 0, 0. And we're going to do IP, summarized address, EIGRP. And we're going to type in our summarized address. 31.8.0 and the appropriate subnet mask. Oh, the summary EIGRP. We're doing instance one. You have to make sure to do the AS number. And it should form a new adjacency. It does take a few seconds. I want to do a show IP route again. And you'll notice that our 172 31 addresses are not as many anymore. It's right here. And on the original one that we copied, we'll see that it that address was not included here. So we were able to summarize these networks. Six six seven seven. We were able to summarize nine 
10 and 11 and do this single 8 network. So these guys right here were summarized. Now we can confirm that by they're not listed in here. Only this one address is listing all of them. So once we've done that, let's go ahead and let's go down to step three. We're going to do the same thing for branch two. Branch two, we're going to look at those uh, addresses. We're going to summarize them. I got the summarized address of 172.31.12.22. I actually want to go ahead and configure that. So configure terminal. We're going to do this on serial 001. And that will be IP summary address EIGRP. We're doing instance 1. And we're typing in the summarized address that we want, 31.12.0, oh, 252.0, because it's slash 22, 255, 255, 252.0. And again, new JSON C. Hop back to our edge router, redo a show IP route. And again, we're looking at the original. Now we just summarized these addresses into this unit. So notice our route table is getting significantly smaller. So we've done this guy. So moving on to four, check the summarized address for the two summarized routes and I, the edge router. If we're looking at that and we do the math, it's going to be 172.31.8.0 with a subnet mask of a slash 21. And we actually want to go ahead and configure this on serial 010. Configure terminal interface serial 010 IP summary address EIGRP 1. We are doing 172.31.8.0. With a subnet mask of 255.255.248.0. So that will take a minute. Let it recalculate. And this will show that there's not only one summarized route representing the eight loopback networks in both branch one and two. Show IP route. This is the summary address for those two networks. But you'll notice it actually does show summary. And it does show a slash 21. So let's go ahead and look at this from the HQ router. Try P route. I again want to make my screen a little bit bigger. And here it is right here. Even though we showed it as a summary network coming from the edge, going to HQ, you can see it's a single entry in the route table. So we went ahead and we finished four. Now that four is done, 
let's go ahead and go into part two, which that's going to be for IPv6. Okay, so I'm looking at these loopback interfaces and display the route table on each of the route that are visible. So basically, I'm looking at the loopback interfaces for each of them. I want to summarize a, a summarize the addresses for the loopbacks for branch three. Branch three, I summarize those addresses into 2001 DB8 colon one colon eight with a slash 62. So I want to go ahead and program that in. Again, I'm not showing the calculations because at this point you've done enough summarized addresses. You should know how to do that. Configure terminal. We're going to be doing this on serial 000. This is going to be IPv6. Summary address. AIGRP. We're doing instance 1. Go ahead and type in the appropriate summarized address. I did 2001 DB8 colon 1 colon 8 double colon and we should be able to do our slash 62 here. Let's go ahead and make this screen a little bit bigger. IPv6 summarized address, EIGRP 1, 2001, colon, DB8, colon, 1, colon, 8. All right, it does not like that for whatever reason. Let's try this one more time. IPv6 summarized address, EIGRP 1, 1. All right, apparently it did not like the fact that I did lowercase db8, but the adjacency did form. We're going to see if we go to our edge router. Let's go into a show IPv6 route. You should be able to see our new address that we uh, configured. 2001 DB8 18 2001 DB8 and there it is there. Just like with IPv4, we did the same thing, but this time we're doing it with IPv6 addresses. So let's go and look at the next branch four. I'm looking at these four right here. Do your summarized address. My math shows 2001 db8 1 colon c and again a slash 62. So let's go ahead and configure that. CLI config t. We're doing this off of 001. Config t. Int 001. We're doing an IPv6 summarized address EIGRP 1 2001 DB8 colon 1 colon C double colon forward slash 62. And there's our new summarized address. I'm going to hop back on our edge router and verify. Let's show IPv6 route. 2001 DB8 C colon, colon 62. There it is right there. So we've done step two and step three. Let's go ahead and and look at both of these routes and summarize them so that we can advertise them to our HQ. When I did that math, it's 2001 db8 colon 1 colon 8 with a slash 
61. Let's go ahead and program that in. So configure terminal. This is on serial 010. Int serial 10. IPv6. Summary address EIGRP number 1. 2001 DBH colon 1 colon 8 double colon forward slash 61. That's what it looks like right there. I'm going to give it a minute and on our HQ router. I'm going to do a show IPv6 route, and you should be able to see our new addresses right there. All right, so we've done all of that. We've done the summarized addresses. Ping should work throughout all of it, and that's the end of this lab. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.